Hey guys, these box here, and this is gonna be a pretty good video for, well, for anybody. It'll be entertaining, definitely educational for anybody that's an early, early game. So this is a kind of an account coaching video. I did a little takeover for somebody the other day. I showed how Vergus can actually solo the Scarab boss, and uh, somebody realized they had him, and uh, were struggling. You know, their early game. As a matter of fact, this player played played a long time ago and has come back with a long gap of absence in between just so you know kind of the backstory so there's so much that's changed the doom tower is new all these things are new so this character this hero has uh, this hero he's a hero he's a great dude he really is uh but this guy i just got kicked off my game he uh you know he's a little overwhelmed with the game coming back to it You'll see that he has all these crazy, amazing champs and things. So that that's the reason he does have things on his account. But he's struggling as a beginner at the same time. Uh, so I'm going to show the importance of, number one, uh, patience. If you have a hero and you know what they can do, uh, they, they can't do it until they're built. Until they're built all the way out. They need masteries. Uh, they need gear. Their kit, just, their, just a great kit does no good without. These things are important accuracy and speed if you have debuffs people neglect speed and accuracy early game and they really have to get out of that habit every hero needs to be moving quickly uh if you're early game that that might mean 150 speed you know but you've got to be moving you got to be outpacing the enemy uh so speed boots on almost every hero uh we're gonna go through the gearing mistakes the mistakes of leveling somebody up, ascending somebody but not leveling them. How you're actually weaker when you ascend yourself before you level yourself. So let's just get into the video and, and I, you know, I, I kind of took the best clips, the most important mistakes to avoid when you're early game. I hope that it helps anybody who needs this advice. Uh, it's it's worth watching. It's, it's actually a good watch when I was editing it. it there's a lot of lessons in here that uh, I think we all went through. Let's be honest, we've, we've all been there. So, uh, And I know you guys are a great community. Thank you for your support for me. Uh, let's not be nasty about any mistakes that somebody makes, please. You know, we've all been there. So I just want to real quick go through uh, these things for anybody that's struggling with, with how to gear a champion. or and, and, and the whole point was for me to try to get Vergus built up enough to go ahead and beat the Scarab Bots, which we eventually do. Uh, but... Uh, it, it, it's a it's a much bigger journey than that so i hope you enjoy it let's get to the video we ran him up to level four uh, but I, real quick one thing that people might not realize when you're 330 on this account and then you level up to uh when you ascend to level four four star it actually drops your stats from 330 you're actually stronger at 330 than you are at four uh, four star level one but quickly as you level them up you become much stronger so 440 is far beyond 330 that's something that people might not understand and as soon as you do ascend somebody go ahead and level them up and and a quick note I, i'm sure that he's saving up all these brews probably to to do the next champion training event that's smart makes sense but when you have this many brews i think it takes uh I don't maybe 18 to get him to level 40 absolutely 100% worth it didn't even put a dent in the bruise 40 and now I'm gonna check out the gear um, so the idea is to get destroy set on him uh, so what I noticed uh, and I'm all I'm doing is trying to help out I'm just trying to help out we had a uh, flat stat HP he was doing the right thing building high HP there was a flat stat HP here and it had uh you know some accuracy and some defense on it well our goal is high hp high resist high speed i would rather have it was just a four star piece it was an epic four star but even though it's green at least there was a green hp percentage that's so much stronger than a flat stat hp it's important important to know the difference so i took the flat stat off that really should be sold to be honest uh, it just so happened the one stat underneath it was resistance, so that was a plus. And then just luck would have it, I rolled a little bit of speed. So I want to go through the gear. Uh, this could end up being an excellent piece of gear. A six star with HP percentage, solid as...
Okay, so I found a shield that has speed, HP, got two rolls on percentage, and resistance. That's a great piece. I uh, went ahead and took it to 12, at least for right now. Uh, and I noticed, like, you know, if you're at 11, it's worth rolling to 12. It doesn't, 12's kind of the place where it stops. After 12, it costs a lot to roll up, but at least 12 is worth hitting to get that massive bonus uh, and get an extra buff to, it could be HP here. Uh, that's something else worth noticing. Okay, I just found a six star speed boots in destroy. So we're gonna take that HP boots off. I know we want HP, but we've gotta have speed too. Uh, I'm hoping to hit HP at least once or twice. That would be great. We'll take whatever we get here though, because a six star, hey, we got it. We got one. If we get two, this just became, it'll have more HP than it was already rolled up to on percentage, because it was only rolled up to eight. If we hit one more, here comes the magic number. Plus, we're fixing to have a lot more speed. And this is like an epic set of boots right here. I mean, when I say epic, I mean amazing. Look at that. It almost has the same amount of HP as the HP boots. And we have 29 speed. And, and this is something else we may roll up. It's, it's a super good piece of gear. No matter where it lands, you'll never sell this piece of gear. Another thing, especially when you have a good piece of gear, you'll have a ton of these small glyphs. Take what you can get. An extra percentage. You, you know, if you were comparing this piece of gear to another, one had 16, one had 15, you would take the 16% defense. So, you know, it's, it's definitely worth using at least those tiny small glyphs. That's another little piece of advice while I continue trying to build this up. Now, real quick, because we did spend a couple million silver just getting things to 12, um, and putting, I, I still have a couple glyphs looks like to do. Um, we, we probably could real quick make up for any silver we spent. You know, when I saw the, the flat stat, there is no flat stat worth keeping on gloves, chest, or boots. So if you click those three, hit HP flat stat as a primary attack or defense, all of this can be sold. And if you, if you trust me, I mean, I, I'm doing a favor if I sell this gear. This gear is going to trap you. Um, you know, and the only exception is, is a very rare... I mean, you wouldn't want to even roll it up to try to get, like, three rolls on speed. And, like, things like this don't even have speed on them. Uh, so, you know, honestly, selling everything you see here is probably going to save you a lot of trouble down the road. Rolling this up an attack flat stat rolling it up to 12 you know is just a loss of silver flat stats really do belong in the garbage so I'm gonna real quick go ahead and, and this seems harsh but I promise you this is something that no matter if it's a legendary uh, <laughs> which might be the only exception and even then would you want to roll up a flat stat hoping to get a quad roll on speed or crit rate all the silver and then end up selling it if it didn't hit uh this is something i've always I, every time i get a batch of gear i go through and i sell all relentless is special I, but even then even even then right even then you don't want to use it but if it's a flat stat you're not going to use it in any case at all so this right here will make up for the silver that it's costing to roll up the good gear to 12 this is the, the number one easiest way to cleanse your gear. Before you start digging through difficult choices, get rid of all flat stats on, on just on boots, chests, and gloves. Percentages will always outweigh it every time. So there's, there's a big chunk of the silver that we spent. Another little piece of advice. And now looking at our build, um, so what we're missing some key elements we're missing under masteries there there's plenty you can get uh under these masteries but uh war master war master is really important to do big damage but what i'm going to do before and, and going to 550 is a huge jump then we can wear a necklace with more hp more resistance let me roll up the couple little things uh, not roll up but uh well honestly it would be worth rolling up like this 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 and the speed are going to give you so much 
I may see if I can cheaply roll up some of these important pieces here and then we can try it out uh, without masteries without a necklace and see if that's enough for the first boss There goes Vergus, and we didn't get enough purple bar that I don't think we're gonna finish this now. All right, so since I'm kind of trying to help help out with gearing champs, you have an amazing champ in Grizzle Jarl, amazing. But we have on his chest a flat stat attack. He he doesn't even need attack. It's got bad rolls. It's a three star. Uh, it actually will cost more to take this off than to just destroy it. Like if you hit remove, you can pay 10,000 or you can just destroy it. It's actually gonna be cheaper to do. So what do we got? Uh, flat stat defense, same thing. Um, real quick, I'm going to, we really need to just, even if we don't roll it up, we need to like that flat stat again, all three flat stats. If we want him, to be doing some work alongside man all right let's hit filter chest gloves boots we want defense percentage it almost doesn't matter what we put on him um, you know if, if you look at his skills always think if you want to land hill reduction then you're going to need uh, accuracy. If you want to land decreased attack, you're going to want accuracy. Uh, that's something that you want to consider when you're when you're building him. So uh, what we're going to do? I, I, I went. I keep. I went the wrong way. Come on. All right. So consider putting accuracy on him while we do this. Uh, how will we do that? We're going to go back to chest, gloves, boots. Um, you probably would want speed boots. So let's start with chest and gloves. Let's go to defense percentage. You've got, let's see, a, dec a decent chest right there in accuracy, but I don't see. You know what? Right there. So we don't have to roll anything up too far or too crazy. Uh, do, what do we have in gloves? Uh, this is a at least it's at least it's defense percentage. We go life steal. or we could go we could go crit rate. We could go crit rate to try. We want his max HP damage to hit hard. So we don't have that in perception. This has defense, HP. This is a great piece for him. Great piece. See, we, that horrible piece of gear just cost 100,000. So I should have destroyed it. I should have destroyed it. It's not even worth taking. We, we need to destroy this gear. Remove, destroy. It's cheaper than paying to take it off. It really is. All right, so uh, boots, we want speed boots, and we would love to see like defense percentage rolls underneath it. Uh, nothing fancy here. So let's just look at speed boots. We have some in accuracy. Do we have perception? No. 
I don't want to steal off of anybody's gear. Uh, nothing in defense. Uh, for right now, we just need speed boots. We're going to put these on him. This, this is an early growing account. And sometimes this is what you got to do. Sometimes you just got to take what you can get. So we're going to go. All right. We've got three pieces that are going to do it much better. The top three pieces. Um, we'll take. We'll, let, let's exclude the weapon because it can never have defense on it. We're looking for defense rolls. And we're going to keep this pretty narrow on the search because if we go too crazy, we're probably not going to find a lot that we want. But here we go. Some extra crit damage, some defensive rolls. Absolutely, absolutely we want that. Look at this. Defense, crit damage, accuracy. Please give that to me. Please. All right. Now, if we can find one more piece of perception for the weapon. We're gonna have extra speed. Let's go to the weapon. Um, we can't get defense, so let's just see what's under perception. Right now, that's our main. Uh, nothing. All right, but what about uh, accuracy? That'll give us another 40 accuracy as well. We have speed and accuracy. There we go. We're gonna take that. All right, without him rolling this stuff up, that's a better that that's a better build. This guy just needs to get leveled up. We took him to five. Uh, and I'm telling you, with 216 brews, that's so many. Watch watch what happens when you just... Watch. Let's just... You click six of them. And look what... It'll show you right here. Look, look at how fast he goes up. So, look. I'm already at level 32. So, I'm going to real quick push him and see what he can do. I got you some goodies. You got a, you got a bunch of extra goodies in here because I'm using some resources that you know without asking. Because I think this this is a great time to prove a point. Uh, it's just patience. All you need is patience. Uh, if you do want to take a hero, you just got to go all out. And the truth is, you do have the food to already push this guy all the way up. You already have the gems to take this guy all the way up. Uh, so I bought some to make sure that we can go ahead and kind of show you. So what we're going to do, um, let me real quick do these masteries. Okay. So real quick, let me show you why I chose the masteries. More HP. This is a, this is a Scarab Boss solo build. All right. This is going to make him amazing on Scarab Boss. There are... He'll be good for clan boss when we're done. Uh, there are other ways to build him, but we're going to increase his shield. That helps him stay alive. Increase it if he ever gets below 40% uh, HP. Help him stay alive. We're going to increase our turn meter uh, whenever one of his buffs expires. We're going to try to get back around to his big good move. We're going to try to get lasting gifts so everything lasts longer, like the continuous heal. We're going to take Spirit Haste because everybody should be dead. That's going to speed us up even faster. Uh, crit Rate, Crit Damage, Shield Breaker. This guy's got a shield on him. We want to do more damage. Once uh, he gets below 40% health, our damage will increase. We get extra damage for dead allies. They're all going to be dead. Uh, we're just going to increase uh, when he has higher HP than us, which is all the time. We're going to do more damage. We're going to increase damage of our A1 as we use it, and you would want War Master to really finish this off. But, so the point, the re, you know, I don't mind helping out, but the reason I'm doing this is to show you, you know, when you got a good hero, you had the resources to get him here anyway. Um, you know, I went ahead and I'm, I'm going to try to make good on all the resources I used since it's not my account. But if, if you want this hero, then you gotta go all the way. Like I always say, you, you pick one and you go all the way. And if he's gonna and he will make a difference in more than just this area. He'll help you out in a lot of areas, a lot of progression. Uh, he's worth taking to 60, clicking that last mastery. I've already already paid for it. You just click it and he'll have war master. Uh, you know, so a couple lessons to learn. Flat stats throw them in the trash you do not want flat what well, hell hades always says flat stats in the bin go through get rid of flat stats there are characters everywhere just wearing flat stat gear 
uh, this all this this right here I mean the, the, you know when you equip it on somebody you're not even helping yourself because it's gonna cost more to take it off than to just destroy it so you might as well sell it before you ever use it if it has a flat stat on, on that's on boots chests and gloves everything else is a little different um, you know just a good piece of advice uh, you know gear carefully it's it's better to roll up now in his case you've got to do it pretty specifically so the build we have now is 550 uh, again you want to push through the entire doom tower you're going to want to go to 660 and take warmaster but I assume that we're going to do just fine now okay at 550 you could get this guy to 660 and if you can end up with a resistance banner on him he's good to go his resistance is the only real issue at least for the first scarab king boss uh he needs to be at 60 though that war master proc is going to make it so much better so what are we going to do we're going to try to bring a team uh so we're going to take that huge hp aura that you have built up on um your rush card the tower we're going to take uh we're going to try to take some turn meter control Let's see, do we have an allure? I'll be right back. Okay, never mind. Without a shield team, allure is just gonna get wrecked anyway. So here's what we're gonna do. Like I was saying, we're gonna take that big HP aura and we're gonna take a solid team. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and try to slow him. Uh, we're gonna try to debuff him. Some turn meter, get some slams. Um, honestly, we do have Grizzle Jarl, but he's not built very, I, I, I put, better gear on him but I don't want to roll it up I don't want to use your silver but I kind of think that we would do better maybe maybe instead of him we'll take Grizzle Jarl if he can survive might as well roll this guy up too but if he can survive uh, no we'll take the level 60 it's just such we, we want built heroes we want a solid team So let's take a solid team with Vergus up in the middle. even more and you're going to want to be at level 60 with war master because this would have been over in two minutes i'm sure if you had war master on uh on Virgis. but there he goes and look you got you some chickens you got you some parts to make some new gear not bad uh yeah i think the takeaway lessons are are uh gear i'll do some gear cleaning for you uh it, it's really important to know that like it, when you put this gear on this hero what do we have a flat stat HP chest it's gonna cost more to remove it than to just destroy this gear so the second you see in your bag gear that had a, anything that has a flat stat on these three pieces just sell it right away right away even if it's a huge six star amazing piece just sell that thing so that you don't waste silver and try to put it on somebody and invest time and money um, you don't need I know what happens is faction wars makes you want to build out all these characters a little bit so you can do it 
it's not worth doing until it's until you can do it right. I mean, even if you can just beat the first two stages of faction wars, do that every day until you finally like build a hero outright. She's an attack champ. What you're really gonna want out of an attack champion is speed boots. Uh, you're early in the game, so an HP chest with attack percentage rolls because you want her to be alive. When I say HP chest, I mean HP percentage, not flat stat HP. You don't want 1800 HP. You want 50 or 60 percent of 10,000 is what you want. Uh, so. You, you, that's what you want to look for. Uh, you probably, early in the game, will just throw on some crit rate gloves. If you're lucky, you'll get attack percentages under those. You could, uh, then up here, you're going to be looking for speed, crit damage, crit rate, attack percentage. Any combination of those on the top three pieces. Um, and then you can, you know, crit damage necklace. There it is. An attack necklace probably is what you would want. A uh, ring is what you would want. And if they land a debuff, you're going to want an accuracy banner almost every time. If the debuffs are why you're using a hero, you've got to get the accuracy up. You have to. That's why on, uh, like, Tyrell, he needs a defense percentage chest. But right now, he, the only way he can get, compete in Nightmare or Brutal is by having this accuracy up. Otherwise, you can't take him into a dungeon and do anything. All right, well, hey, you're going to get plenty more out of this guy as you build him out. Uh, any character that you pick. I, let me, I want to real quick just look at, maybe I can, since I'm trying to kind of coach you a little here. Um, let's look at our champs. All right, so you've got some decent clan boss champs. Some decent dungeon champs. This guy, by the way, if he is built out, uh, he, he's attack based. He's a support champ. This guy right here, if you build him fairly fast and tanky, can make a good lead in almost every dungeon. He can cleanse. I mean, you know, booking him out is good. Ghostborn is a really good hero. You know, he just he. They, these heroes need gear, and, and some of this just really isn't gear, you know? So, like, I don't know. It'd be better to just pick a few and really, really push on those certain heroes, which you, you seem to be getting getting down to that. But uh, also in the... Uh, come on, get out of here. This one. In the vault. You've already got a level 60 right here I've got to check her out uh, this guy he's a single target but he's a single target murderer for sure for sure uh, he got licks um, I want I want I want to see this Valkyrie she's already got books man she's one book away one book away from being so much better, so much better than this uh, skull crusher. I mean, she needs her ascensions and she needs some gear. You can just give her his gear for now, but uh, wow, man, she is one book away from being super amazing. I'm leaving her out of your vault. Like, that's Valkyrie. <laughs> that's Valkyrie. Uh, on that scarab boss, you throw her in there with uh, Vergus, and you're, yeah, yeah, it's over, man. It's over. She and and matter of fact, if you had a shield set on somebody and you brought in Valkyrie, once she has that last book on her cooldown, uh, you've got Cold Heart. I don't know if you have an Armager or an Allure. There's an Armager. If you build him up good, and let's see if we have an Allure anywhere. An Allure. There she is. You've got the actual team to just actually beat the Scarab boss without soloing it, really. But uh, it doesn't matter. You got Vergus now. So all you got to do is finish Max and Vergus out, and you can solo it. I hope, I hope this helps. I'll try to put this together where it's comprehensive and easy. Enjoy the grind.